it's not just the beach that's keeping people busy this summer. It's the breaking of the boards and the discipline of the mind in Taekwondo. This martial art is one of many that the sports desk highlights this summer, and Sarah Pila tells you how cherry blossoms are part of this story. Taekwondo is a Korean martial art. At Don Wortman's studio, the Grand Master teaches a summer camp for kids who are interested in learning. The sport combines combat techniques, self-defense, exercise, and philosophy. Since 1988, Taekwondo has become an Olympic sport, but it teaches more than just the physicality. Well, I tell my kids every day, it's, I can teach anybody to kick and punch. It's what we teach here is we teach discipline, we teach self-control, we teach focus, integrity. Uh, the five pillars of, ta of Taekwondo is essentially courtesy, integrity, uh, perseverance, never give up. Uh, self-control and discipline. It teaches you self-confidence, respect, how to show respect to other people, and uh, like many other things like organization, it teaches you all kinds of stuff that you wouldn't think a martial art would teach you. When the students enter class, they bow before stepping on the mat to pay respect and are in their uniform called a dobok in Korean. Everyone has a belt and the color signifies their rank, but together the colors represent the circle of life. The white belt, a seed, needs the sun, yellow, and water, blue, to grow into a tree, the brown belt. From there, a cherry blossoms on the tree, that's the red, and finally black. The cherry has rotted, but inside is a seed, thus the circle is complete and continues on. The students start stretching and warming up, and from there they learn and practice the different techniques and forms. In order to progress to a higher belt, you are tested on those technique and forms that they've learned. With the release of the movie The Karate Kid that came out this summer, more and more kids have a growing interest for martial arts. Well, I just wanted to know some self-defense just in case I ever get into trouble with somebody or anything. Like somebody tries to attack me, at least I know something to defend myself. Other things that they practice are sparring, which is a type of training in freeform fighting. Master Don also teaches his students sword fighting, and one of the most important things is to show respect to the sword. You must bow your head before you pick up the sword, and after when you place it back down. In Taekwondo, one of the ways to show strength, courage, and power is breaking a board. Hiya! As class comes to a close, Master Don hopes the students go home and remember the lessons he's taught them. When the kids leave my studio, I like to see them in their real life, how they act as a normal child, not a martial arts student, which means that I want to see courage, I want to see confidence, but I also want to see uh, humbleness as they have learned a skill that could possibly hurt somebody. Certainly his job is done when the students learn the sport and the life lessons that carry them in all things they do. Reporting for the Sports Desk, I'm Sarah Pila. Thanks, Sarah. Nice breaking of the board. Kikido Martial Arts Studio is located at 4455 Torrance Boulevard. You can go to KUKKIDO.com for more information about Don Wartman's studio, where you can learn more than just Taekwondo. You want to know who the fastest kid in Torrance is? Well, at least around the baseball dime, that is. Stick around for more.